In today's complex regulatory climate with focuses on drug development costs, patient safety, and getting to market first, the stakes are higher than ever. When you are well prepared, there's no reason to dread the submission process. Joining me today is Dr. Sandra Suarez Sharp, Vice President of Regulatory Affairs at Simulations Plus. She joined the FDA in 1999 and was an expert in the Office of Clinical Pharmacology, Office of Generic Drugs, and Office of Pharmaceutical Quality, where she most recently served as Master Reviewer and Scientific Advisor for the Division of Biopharmaceutics. She was actively involved in the development of many internal procedures for FDA reviewers and guidance documents for industry. And she was recognized as one of the preeminent authorities for PBBM. With this experience, she sits with us today to share some expert advice on getting through the process with minimal stress. The drug product development process is an art drug process that necessitates many resources and time. In fact, it takes about 12 to 14 years to launch a product into the market. In addition, throughout the drug product development, it, and actually after a drug product is, is uh, launched into the market, it is likely that many changes are, 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 are going to happen. And some of these changes might require bioequivalent studies. So then, how can uh, model and simulation help in to do this? Well, one thing that is important to recognize is that model and simulation can help facilitate the establishment of in vitro and vivo link that is essential to develop an in vitro and vivo correlation, and also to develop a safe space so that once a safe space is developed, then this safe space can be used as a surrogate to not only to um, promote regulatory flexibility, but also to achieve patient-centric drug product development, which is one of the focus of the several regulatory agencies, especially the FDA. Well, uh, you may know regulatory decision-making and necessitates not only on data, but also on risk assessment and mitigation strategies. So I really think that model and simulation can play a key role in facilitating that risk assessment for the drug product. The ex-commissioner of the FDA, Dr. Gottlieb, emphasized in one of his speeches that we are on a unsustainable path where the cost of drug development is growing enormously, as well as the cost of new medicines, that we need to do something about it now to make the entire process less costly and more efficient. He mentioned that one way to accomplish this is via modern and simulation. Well, my training and experience at the FDA in the last 10 years helped me recognize the key role that, that model and simulation can play as one of the biopharmaceutics tools, not only to accelerate drug product development, but to build clinical relevance in drug product development. Simulations Plus is one of the world leaders in PBPK and PBVM, and I am very pleased to be part of a great team of passionate scientists that are experts on the field. For more information on this topic and to learn how our team can accelerate the drug development process for your organization, visit us online at www.simulations-plus.com. Thanks for watching.